Okay, this is my first attempt at a max for live audio triggering device. It uses an audio signal to trigger a sound file, which is the finger mid one there. If I click on the test, you can hear it. Okay, so um, this is how it works. Uh, it uses the drum trigger that I made before, which you can see here taped to a table. Um, that is going through to audio number 13. Just turn the speakers off for a second so you can hear it without it. If I tap on the drum trigger, you can see that I've got sound coming through input number 13. Um, and then if I turn the speakers back on again, you can see that as I tap it, the sound is triggering, or me tapping the drum trigger is triggering the sound file. So um, the sound comes in through the plug-in file here. It goes into a clip object. Uh, this is set to one so the thing doesn't peek into the red. It relies on the fact that these meters take in audio and give out number. So you can use them to trigger various signals, um, including triggering sound files and probably MIDI objects. So the sound goes into this meter here. Um, where it is compared with the threshold by this greater than object. If the sound is greater than the threshold, um, it will send a 1 into the gate. If the sound is less than the threshold, it will send a 0 into the gate. If a 1 goes into the gate, the gate is open. If a 0 goes into the gate, the gate is closed. The sound also comes out of a second channel here, goes into the signal inlet of the gate, and is allowed through if it is louder than the threshold here. So it's essentially an audio gate. This area is a sort of audio gate. Um, it goes into a second meter here, which turns it into another signal. This goes through various divider objects, which turn it into a sort of sensible range. And then it goes through a speed limiter here. This speed limiter um, basically limits how fast repetitions can happen. Otherwise, you get some kind of weird uh, repetition kind of effects. This switch serves a similar purpose. It's a sort of double backup. If the sound is greater than the threshold, the switch will let the sound through on this channel sound is less than the threshold, the signal goes out of an unused outlet. Um, that goes through there, that powers the bang, that ultimately triggers the sound file. So, you can hear a kind of double click there because the interval is set. That's more like it. Okay, so that's how it works.